there seems to be now like a, a tension that's happening um, with uh, black British actors um, and black American actors. Does that come into play for you as you're considering what roles you want to take? For me, yeah, it does come into consideration because I don't want to look disrespectful to a culture. I'm not really in the business of that. If I feel like I'm stepping over a line or just just won't entertain it, do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just not for me. And then if something comes my way and I'm given an opportunity, I interrogate why people want me to be a part of it, interrogate why I want to do it. And if those reasons align, I'll step in. And, and if people project attitudes towards it, I just gotta hold it <laughs> and go, that's, that's how you feel. But I feel, I know why I'm doing this, do you know what I'm saying? And I just gotta keep in that space. I think the objective is always to, you know, in what we do in general, is to tell the truth. And I know that for myself, and I know definitely from Daniel and watching his work, you know, that is always the quest. And, and, and you know, in doing Queen and Slim, for me, it's like I wanted to bring honour to this woman's story and who this woman was, and bring honour to the experience of being black in America. And while I might not be born here, I am a black person in America, and I've been in America for a very long time. So, you know, I felt like, this was a conversation that I wasn't afraid to step in, but I was stepping into it with the utmost reverence, you know what I mean, for the story. And I think there's a lot of people like to sort of play on this conversation about there's a tension between, and I don't think, I don't really believe that there is a tension, you know, I think there's love and respect on, on all sides. And I think that as a community, we should all be able to play all of each other in the diaspora, do you know what I mean? It's like we're having simultaneous experiences all over the world, do you know what I mean? That are so connected and so the same. It's like, you know, my family are Jamaican, do you know what I mean? It's like we were just the slaves that were dropped off over there. Do you know what I'm saying? And so, and I think, and at the end of the day, when you live and exist as a black person in America, at least to white society, to a certain extent, no one is asking where you were from, where you're from and where you're born, you know? When I walk into a room, my blackness announces itself before I open my mouth. So people are already judging me and who I am as a black American when I exist in spaces in black America. Do you know what I mean? And when I get pulled over by the police, they're not more interested in the fact that I'm not actually born here. Because they're not living in a conversation that has anything to do with sort of a British privilege or anything like that. And while I do recognise that there are definitely moments and there is an othering that happens for sure, you know, in society where they're like, oh, this kind of black, especially in America, this kind of black is better or more acceptable than another. But that is something that has been projected on us by non-black communities. Mm -hmm. It's not something that we're projecting onto each other. Do you know what I mean? And so it's like, I think it's really beautiful to be able to do a film like this and to bring honor to that community. And, and I look forward to seeing more black American actors playing roles where they play British.